Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, just gotten into this lovely looking little segment of the basement area. Um, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look too good uh, for the future. Looks like there's probably going to be a lot of spiders and a lot worse sort of things going on down here. So, we're going to be going further in to try and help out the other guy uh, who would at least tell us the correct passphrase for the golem, uh, which was apparently given incorrectly so that way no one could reactivate the golem. Ah. Uh, that's not a noise you want to hear. I don't know what it is. But I know I didn't want to hear it. That doesn't look good. Mm. Doesn't look like there's any traps going on. Oh, no. Okay. Well, run into this situation already. All right. Oh, well, you know. Dust Wraith, huh? That can't be good. Don't focus a lot of damage on them this as much as I can. Oh, boy. Let's make this quick attack! All right. Down it goes. Harvest Festival Ring. What the? Oh. Two strength, two dexterity, and four attack. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. A remarkable green stone and a topaz. Well, I'm taking all of that, technically. Oh, it won't let me. Okay, well. All right. Um, uh, you know what? I'm going to put that on. Don't know which one. There we go. Um, put the iron ring on Liliana, I guess. Just to get it out of the inventory space. And I'll pick this up. Man, I did not think I'd be running into the problem of... Uh, inventory space now. Also, that does not look good. Can I get into this? Allow me. I could do that for you. Well, I was about to let you anyway. Oh... Yeah, I had a feeling. Alrighty. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Some are just basic gifts. This is a thing I learned. Some are just basic gifts. Others are... Some have a little bit more significance to the person. Uh, more likely than not, if it has more significance to someone else, someone will refuse it. Uh, I don't know if they'll mention who it will go to, but it at least saves you from accidentally giving out something that'll be good for someone else. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. 
plot items. Why is this in my inventory still? Okay, well, shit. It's not good. Um. Hmm. Just wanted to compare this to my current. I don't remember not equipping this. Just one I did. Oh well. Put it on now anyway. Um Don't know. Hmm. Don't know how I'm going to make the space for it. Um. Fire arrow and... I don't know. It at least takes up one spot. But... Nope. That's what I had a feeling would happen. Okay. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, why not? This will be at least a way to cheese it. There we go. Ah. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, that should work. That should work for now. Swap them back. Swap back. Swap. Oh, I didn't swap them. I didn't swap hers in the first place. Alright, um. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, I just for some of these gifts, I'm not entirely sure who would want them more. Look at remarkable green stone here. Blue-green stone with a pattern like a turtle's shell. I just don't know. And I don't want to... Mm, don't want to use them unnecessarily. Okay. No, I'll just Done. take these for now. Alright. So, there is more to this area. Alrighty. Uh boy. Strange crystal cluster. Yep, I had a feeling I would run into that. Journeyman Frost Rune and Journeyman Lightning Rune. Inspect. You can upgrade weapons by enchanting them with runes, but I would need a uh, sandal to be able to do that, wouldn't I? I at least have the rune to do it. Small flawed ice crystal. Yep. That's what I thought. Alright. So I have now ran into a situation. Oh. What do you mean you've never climbed a tree? Don't cats like to be in trees? Are you talking to the cat? Don't know why that was disengaged. Huh. Maybe it was because I goofed up on the weapon stuff, maybe. Um. So notice he's... 
Okay. Not sure why he turned that off. But that's fine, I guess. Alright, uh, Kitty and Amalia. Amalia was who we were looking for. Why is she talking to a cat? Oh, look. Someone's come to play. You have play. come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Uh huh. Who is we? Are you referring to the cat? Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Kitty finds me distracting. Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. You are uh -huh. so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. That's not really a cat, is it? Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking uh -huh. is simple enough, once you know how. Aha, uh -huh, that uh, backdrop noise of uh, evil, evil stuff suggests otherwise. Especially since we heard it with the, uh, with Connor. The one possessed by a demon. Doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence that this isn't also another demon situation. Right, what are you really? I am a cat, really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. Uh-huh. What have you done to her? I have done nothing. I am all but powerless. The mage made sure of that, didn't he? I cannot leave this chamber. No, Amalia found me. After decades of isolation, her company is... Welcome. Hmm. Ah. It seems we are at an impasse, okay. so let me propose a compromise of sorts. Uh -huh. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. Let you have the girl. You mean possess her. That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Yeah. Yeah, it is. A lying persuade would be... I don't know. I don't know how I'd pull it off. I'll free you and you can have the girl. Lie. No. I can hear it in your voice. Shit. You lie. You mean to deceive me. I will not allow it. No, Kitty! You will not take the child from me. She shall be mine forever. Okay. All right. This is bad. Also, no sound effects going on. Oh, great. Yeah, you... Mm -hmm. And, yep. Why are you always half naked? Looks like something wants to die again. Great. Alright. Alright. Well, I don't know if this was the best course of action. Take it. I know it was probably not much else I could have done. Um. Have you actually heal? There we go. Oh, I can actually control her in that regard. Whoop. Okay. Well, it helps if I actually do it properly. 
Uh, I can't do it yet. Well, I can't do much else. As in me, as in now. <laughs> as in me, as in ow. Alright, um, well. Doing what I can here. Alright, that might actually help enough. Helm of Hanleith. Hmm. <sighs> I'm not convinced that was the best course of action in dealing with the demon. Not sure there was much I could do to avoid it. She would have seen through the lie, regardless. My skill's just not high enough to convince her otherwise. The main problem is that I feel if I gave her any negative answers, it would have just led to the same result anyway. I'm just, uh, I'm not sure what options I would have had. I don't feel there was much of any options I had to try and prevent that from happening. it even though she can wear it I can't equip it to her from there thus it makes it impossible for me to fix this problem Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm pretty sure it meant almost nothing to you, but fuck it. Oh! Moderate cunning. You can acquire skills based on relationship? Huh. Alright. That's news to me. 
does give you incentive to, you know, go after a higher relationship stat. Okay. So let's equip that on her. Because it'll actually be helpful. And we'll equip the Helm of Hanlith. Wait. Well, we won't equip it. We'll at least take it. See what it can do. More carp skull. Ah, uh, don't know what to do about that. Keep hitting the wrong buttons again. Ah. Okay. Helm of Hanlith. Pair to my current. Plus two to tr all attributes, and plus three armor. Adds to fatigue. However, adding to all attributes is nice. And with the plus three armor, it goes over what the uh, current helmet has. I just wish it wasn't so fucking ugly. Guess I can give her that. I just wish it didn't cover up her hair. Say, I'm not convinced that was the best course of action, but I might not have really had a choice. I don't know why I didn't have to fight you earlier. But, uh, I guess it's being done now. Alright. Okay, well, yeah, oh, okay, no more of these, all right, a lot more of these, don't know what the hell that fucking line was about, but okay. What happened to her? Is she in there? Why hasn't she come back? I'm sorry. She's dead. She's... dead. Oh, my poor butterfly. Thank you for finding her, at least. I'm grateful. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolan Han. If you still want that bloody thing. I wouldn't if I were you. Now I guess I'll go. I wanted to at least get to explain to him what happened. That there was a demon situation going on deeper into the room. And that there wasn't much I could do to save her. I didn't want it to go that way, but there was not a lot of options. It's either let the demon possess her or oh my god that's a hard choice that was a hard choice I keep feeling like no matter what choice I made, it would have ended badly anyway. I'd at least tried to go 
the persuasion route. And it failed on me. Which I should have honestly expected that to happen, considering. Just doesn't feel good, man. Does not feel good. Did I never loot this guy? I guess I never did. Okay. Alrighty, so. I guess now we uh, got what we came here for. I just wish the circumstances of getting the info was uh, better. I guess that's how uh, Dragon Age Origins is. You don't really uh, get to have a say, do ya? Alright, let's grab Shale then. Doolin Harn. day would come when someone would find the control rod. Oh, and you talk. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. I did not just stumble across it. So it knew what it was doing. Shocking. I stood here in this I'm sorry. and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. A little. Everyone wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm. Another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Not all of them, no. Some got away, then. How unfortunate. You didn't care for them, I take it? Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. I Not see. that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Did you watch the attack, then? Not as much as it would think. There was running and screaming, and then days and days of watching the darkspawn prowl around. I would never have thought there could be something less interesting than the villagers, but there it was. Well, go on, then. Out with it. What is its command? Why are you calling me it? Entrenched sense of perversity. The last one who held that damnable rod used to call me Gollum. Gollum, uh. fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. Wow. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must is something wrong i see the control rod yet i feel go on order me to do something what why oh go on it will be fun i don't like where this is going then order me to stop or go away or just order me please All right, walk over there. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is broken. Shouldn't you be happy about that? Hmm. 
I suppose if I can be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend kind of. to do with me? I mean... I hadn't given it much thought, actually. I just was following the path that was in front of me. I can think of many uses for a personal golem. May I ask what sorts of things it gets up to for which I could be so potentially useful? I am a Grey Warden in need of aid against the Blight. It refers to the Darkspawn, the very creatures that destroyed this village. The Darkspawn are an evil that must be destroyed, it's true. Though not as evil as the birds. Damnable feathered fiends. I suppose I, see. I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Are you going to keep calling me it? Yes, very likely. You killed your former master. Did I? I remember that I had a former master. The mage with the furry brows who poked and prodded and barked orders. Did I kill him? I hope I did kill him. Perhaps the last order he barked was, Gollum, stop crushing my head. Ah! I notice you don't call him it. Yes, I'm just funny that way. <sighs> That's your idea of funny. I almost wish I didn't fucking turn you on with the control rod. Um, what do you want to do? I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? I mean, you're welcome to come with me. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. Think of it as a portable battering ram. I do like that option. Uh, thanks for stating the completely obvious. Um, think of it as a portable battering ram. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will hey! follow it about then. For now. I am called Shale, by the way. Is that your name or what you're made of? Uh, I, I kind of want to make a joking thing, but I'm not going to. Uh, I am Tomas. Pleased to meet you. This should be interesting. Rock in a hard place. Okay. And what would he be? A level 10 warrior. Hmm. Fair enough. Oh, blast it. I just kind of want to look yes. at his little skill set here. Alistair disapproves. Shale approves. Hmm. And Morrigan got a level up. All right. Fair enough. Go willpower, magic. Eh, let's go another willpower. Why not? Hmm. And I guess... I don't know. Mana Drain would be useful for her. Uh, it would create a parasitic bond with a spellcasting target, absorbing a small amount of mana from it. That 
does feel like it would be useful. Um, inflicting penalties to attack and defense. Death magic. That would be useful too. Um, I'm just not sure if I should continue on with the flaming weapons, uh, tree like I was planning on. Because I figured, you know what, it'd be best to have that as a backup should the situation call for it. Or if... Because there are a number of spells that are a little better. Drain life. Death magic is a sustained ability. So it'd be essentially similar to the flaming weapons thing in that regard. And how much does it cost to sustain it? Not that much, actually. Tell you what, I'm going to go with flaming weapons for now, just for the sustained uh, viability of adding elemental effects to the weapons, because at some point, being able to interchange to something that'll be more effective is probably a good thing. That said, I think the next thing I might go after is death magic because that might actually help significantly later on. Um, when it comes to inventory, I don't know what I'm going to do. Shale, oh, he only has two slots. Huh, large chipped spirit crystal, what the f Huh. Hmm. Small flawed lightning crystal ice converts all damage to electricity damage. to nature damage. It's all essentially the same. It's just essentially pick your poison. Or technically pick your element. Um... Oh, and it would, and it does change the color of the crystals on him, too. Huh. Interesting. And he 
does have a relationship bar. Would it be mildly fucked up to give him stone dragon statuette? <laughs> Or remarkable greenstone. I don't know. I guess I'll look that up at some point. Hmm. Tactic slot acquired. Uh, I guess I'll look into his abilities later off camera, but, uh. This is interesting. Uh, I'm a little upset at the course of events that led to this, but this is, this is something else. This is absolutely something else I did not expect. Um, I was hoping for a bit more, I mean, the personality is something else. That's, that's, that's actually kind of cool, but, uh. I was hoping for a bit more... Mm. I don't know what I was hoping for, honestly. I, I was thinking that there would be more. More of something. I don't know. Maybe my feelings are a little mixed because of how... It, what happened to get to this point, but... uh, ah, Shut up, chair. Anyway... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube and Raj Kamal on Patreon for supporting my Patreon and thus supporting the channel. Very much appreciated. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. And a little upset that couldn't really help Matthias in the end. But we did get Shale. And Shale seems to be interesting as a character. Not as what I expected, but... I mean, I'm not entirely sure what I expected. So, uh, we'll just see how it goes as we have him tag along. For you!